Hi folks, thanks for tuning into our video. I'm James with Plant Chicago. So we have lots of people ask us, what is aquaponics? In essence, aquaponics is a method of growing food that combines two ideas. On the one hand, you have aquaculture, which is raising fish or other aquatic animals in an enclosed environment. On the other hand, you have hydroponics, which is growing plants in water without soil. You put the two together and you get aquaponics. By combining aquaculture and hydroponics, aquaponics demonstrates closed loop food production. By closed loop, we mean capturing the waste of one process and using it as an input into another process. Here at Plant Chicago, we operate several aquaponic systems in our indoor demonstration farm located at the basement of the plant. Here's how our system is set up. We start with a simple IBC pallet tank. IBC stands for Intermediate Bulk Container. I should mention here that we use food grade IBC tanks from a local bakery that we've repurposed for our aquaponic systems. We use this for our fish tanks. In fact, each system has four of these IBCs for raising fish. We add an IBC tank as a settling tank and another for our biofilter. Next in line is the grow bed. Ours is made from lumber, some of which is reused, and a pond liner. One more IBC for our sump tank. And finally, a water pump. Then, we plumb it all together with PVC pipe add water, fish, and plants, and off we go. Now, system designs can take many different forms, but the concept of aquaponics works much in the same way in every system. I'll explain using our system as an example. We raise fish in tanks, in our case tilapia, but other fish such as trout and perch can be used as well. We feed the fish, and the fish eat and then excrete waste into the water. The primary waste product they create, and the one we're most concerned with, is ammonia, or NH3. Ammonia is released into the water through both the fish effluents as well as through their gills, but can become toxic to the fish if not removed from the system. <laughs> the beauty of aquaponics is that we can use this toxic byproduct of aquaculture to our advantage. Here's how. The water from the fish tanks flows through a settling tank where the solid waste settles to the bottom and is removed from the water, since it's the ammonia we really want which is dissolved in the water. The water then flows into our biofilter where the ammonia is broken down by beneficial microorganisms. It's first converted into a form of nitrogen called nitrite, or NO2, by a type of bacteria called nitrosomonas. Next, another type of bacteria, called nitrobacter, then converts the nitrite into nitrate, or NO3. Nitrate is the form of nitrogen that plants can most easily absorb. This process is called the nitrification cycle, and it's a process that occurs naturally in the environment. All we do is provide the conditions for these natural processes to take place, and the fish and bacteria do the rest. From the biofilter, the water, now rich with plant-friendly nitrogen, flows into a grow bed where plants sit atop floating rafts with their roots growing down into the water. The plants absorb the nitrates in the water as their source of nutrients, and as this takes place, they help to balance the system chemistry and clean the water as it flows back to the fish tanks to repeat the cycle. We had no fertilizer for the plants. All essential nutrients are provided by the fish waste. We also had nothing to the system for the fish other than food, otherwise our plants would be affected. The system is kept healthy and in balance by natural processes. And that's aquaponics. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have other questions about aquaponics or other Plant Chicago programs or the meaning of life, let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.